As we're all well aware now, the fine folks over at Line 6 have released their firmware 3.15 for the Line 6 Helix, Helix Racks, Helix Native, HX Stomp, HX Stomp XL, and it's a real killer firmware update. One of my absolute favorite things that we've received in it is the new Line 6 Original Von 2 amp model. I've already done a video talking about my top five favorite new additions, and this was number one, and for good reason. This is an absolutely amazing amp model. So without further ado, let's dive over to HX Edit, take a look at what this amp model is, what the different various controls do, and how we can get it sounding good. Just as a side note, I do, as of right now, on the Line 6 Marketplace, have up the Line 6 Von 2 Ultimate preset, which is a four snapshot preset with a full array of effects. And there's a demo that I've done for it that I'm gonna have in a separate video, but I'll also play you a snippet of it in this video a little bit later after we take a look at it. And I'll also have up a free preset up on Custom Tone, which is gonna be a single snapshot, kind of edge of breakup tone, that is one of the snapshots from the Line 6 Marketplace preset, just without all the effects and uh, bells and whistles in it. So really killer stuff. I'm super excited to share that with you and to go over the parameters of this amp so that we can get some cool tones out of it. So here we are over at HX Edits, and first and foremost, we want to know what uh, this amp model actually was. And this is uh, a creation of Ben Adrian, one of the engineers from Line 6. And his idea here was to create kind of a, a, a quote unquote coveted boutique amp that had a bit of a different origin than a lot of them. A lot of the sort of uh, boutique amps came from either modified black panel fenders or modified Marshall circuits. And he was going for something more in the line of a coveted boutique amp that was based off of an early 70s orange amp circuit and say a mid wattage fender tweed type circuit. So that's what he's done here. So what we have is we have drive, HP filter, mid presence depth, channel volume master, and then our deeper functions, sag, hum, ripple, bias, bias X that we have on most amp models in the Helix. So a drive control I think is pretty self-explanatory. That's gonna give us how much drive overdrive we're gonna get out of it. We have an HP filter. Now with this, and I'm just looking here from the release notes and going with what what it actually says there to make sure that I am representing these properly. It says the higher values result in tighter distortions and thinner cleans while lower values result in looser distortions and warmer cleans. So we'll take a listen just shortly uh, to the extreme settings on these and just so we have uh, a good idea of what they actually do in real life. The mid control says allows for more of a character than most. At lower values it's like the scooped sounds of traditional 60s Fender amps. At higher values it's flatter like the 50s weed amps that have very little tone shaping in the circuits, plus a full up mid sound will get a nice crunch when the drive is up. Now, we also have presence and depth controls here. Now, uh, one of the things mentioned in the release notes is that this amp model has a unique topology, and it says, uh, you may have noticed this amp was lacking regular bass and treble controls, which it actually is when we take a look at it. So that's accounted for with these other controls that we have, and it's kind of like bass and treble, but for the power amp. So these actually occur in the circuit just before the phase inverter, but they really need the whole power amp to function. They also affect the character of the power amp distortion. So we'll take a listen to how those affect the sound. Also, uh, we have our channel volume, which is just gonna be the overall output of the level of this amp model. And we have a master, and on the master it says, this model's master volume exists in an impossible place for a physical amp. It says, generally you'll wanna leave this at 10, like a vintage amp with no master volume. However, a variety of textures can be had by reducing the level. All right, so here we have these settings that I've kind of messed with a little bit. Let's hear what this sounds like. And if you'll notice, I'm feeding this into the default cab that it, it calls up with, which is a 212 male C12Q. And I've chosen to use it with the 121 ribbon two and a half inches back. I've taken the low and the high cut off because I have an EQ block here uh, where it's a low cut at 100 hertz and a high cut at 10 kilohertz. And I've also utilized some of the other new things we've received in uh, firmware 3.15, which is the Ampeg OptoComp. And I put a really subtle version of that at the end of the chain, uh, opting for that instead of my LA Studio Comp that I normally use which would have sounded just as good, but I, I kind of was really interested in trying out this Ampeg Optocomp. I have also added in 
the new Dynamic Room reverb with these settings. And I also have a low and high shelf EQ set with both the low and high frequencies at 650 hertz, minus 2 dB on the low gain, plus 2 dB on the high gain. And that all sounds like this with these settings. <laughs> on the bridge pickup. That's the neck pickup. So I'm really digging the tones of that, but let's see what, go back to the bridge pickup. Let's see what this drive control does. So no shortage of gain. I mean, I'm using single coil pickups with this. I'll try a little later with some humbuckers to let you hear what we have going. So really nice stuff. You can get anywhere from fairly clean to edge of breakup. to a full-blown, overdriven, distorted tone. Let's go somewhere in the middle just to kind of explore some of the other features. So the HP filter, as it said, higher values are tighter distortions and thinner cleans. Let's hear what it does to the distorted sounds. You can hear those, those overdrive tones loosen up and get a little flubbier. And things tighten up as we go higher. Very nice. The mid control, let's see what the extremes are on like that. Nice stuff. Presence control. Let's check out the extremes on there. Depth control. really thin it out or add some beautiful beef to the bottom end on that. But all very usable. It doesn't get really out of control, I find, when messing with this. Thank you. 
So we see how versatile this amp is when we start messing with the uh, really well thought out controls that we have to tweak that. <laughs> Now, as was mentioned, I have the master here on 7.5, but it was kind of mentioned that we should probably just leave this at 10 to act like a vintage amp with no master control. <laughs> Fine with this amp, there's almost no really bad settings. Very flexible, a lot of tonal possibilities, but nothing that really sounds bad. Uh, some very beautiful, usable tones I find from this. So let's take a listen to what this sounds like with some humbucker pickups. <laughs> Now, the, the little uh, compressor I have at the end is really only giving me about a dB of gain reduction, but if you want to hear just hear the dynamics of the amp, let's just take that out of the equation also. <laughs> So really amazing stuff. Where I ultimately ended up landing for this kind of edge of breakup tone were these settings. The drive at 4.8, uh, HP filter at 3.5, mid at 5, presence at 4.5, depth at 3.5, my channel volume at 9.2, master at 7.5. Uh, as I mentioned before, the stock cab that comes up with it with the 121 ribbon at 2.5 inches back, these settings on the low and high shelf, these settings on the dynamic room, uh, EQ just being used for low and high cuts and a very subtle setting on the Ampeg OptoComp with a compression setting of one, release of 1.5 and a mix at 75%. And that gave us this tone on the neck pickup. <laughs> I go up to the bridge pickup. So there's a million tones hiding inside of this amp, and I hope that that was a good overview of what it is capable of. Now, on to the Line 6 Marketplace Vontu Ultimate preset that I have. I want to play for you now the little demo video I put together for that, and I'll just give you a little snippet of it. And that's utilizing this snapshot with some effects, as well as the other snapshots that are available with the Marketplace version of the preset. And I'm really happy with this preset. I really can't get enough of playing it. And I hope you like this little piece of music I put together with it.
So I hope you enjoyed that little piece of music. Again, that's from the Line 6 Marketplace Vontu Ultimate preset that's up there available now. I also have this single snapshot preset available on Line 6 Custom Tone at the link below. So the Line 6 Marketplace link will be below as well as the Custom Tone link to the free preset. And you can grab that and try it out, mess with it uh, yourself, tweak it however you need to have it sound the way that uh, you want it to sound. And I hope that that was a good overview of what these controls do and how we can get this amp model sound sounding really great and a huge tip of the hat to the folks at Line 6 for coming up with such an amazing original amp model to add to the already great repertoire of amps that we have inside the Helix. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please like the video, share it with anybody who you think would get some enjoyment out of watching it. Also, please subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell notification, get notified when I put new content out. I'll be back really soon with some more Helix content and some more firmware 3.15 content. Thanks again so much for tuning in guys. Ciao for now.